What's up everyone? My name is Mike with Audio Architects and I'm back. Just a quick update for those of you who knew about my situation. We survived. Thank you to all who donated to our GoFundMe. We are forever grateful. Going through the ordeal we went through, I honestly think it was living for those few weeks in the unknown that really hit us hard. We have a new place though. And I have a little YouTube studio to work from. It's still in, under construction, but <laughs> no more videos from my living room and bedroom. Uh, we are slowly making the new place into our home. And as I said, for those of you who helped, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. A special thanks to Giles from Home Theater Fanatics, who not only donated to the cause, but also helped me move physically. So, sir, you're a legend. Today I will discuss how we can bring the CD back to life and the direction physical media needs to go if it wants to survive. So stay tuned. For many years now, streaming has had a monopoly on the daily consumption of music. Back in the day, CDs and vinyl were the gateway drug to music and for many folks, an introduction to hi-fi. You bought an album from an artist you were interested in because you wanted to listen to their songs and those mediums served a useful purpose. However, with the advent of streaming, the meaning and value of physical media has you know, completely changed entirely. With streaming at the fingertips of millions of people and molding our new generation, physical media has become increasingly obsolete. People are having trouble wrapping their heads around the notion that for what they pay for with just one album via CDs or vinyl, they can instead, you know, just pay a monthly subscription and have access to millions of songs. My issue with this is there isn't a sense of ownership with the music. I feel like I am renting the music. I share the same sentiment with Netflix's platform. I, I love Netflix and I love how convenient it is to stream. However, I would like to own some of those Netflix specials on 4K Blu-ray if they do away with a particular piece of content or God forbid, the platform goes down altogether. But I digress. Albeit vinyl sales have seen a considerable resurgence over the last several years. Over the last year, CDs have finally seen a slight increase in sales. They're not in the red anymore. There's no question that digital file formats and streaming will continue to dictate human music consumption habits because, to put it simply, for many listeners, physical media no longer serves the purpose of music consumption. In the past, I have written and spoken about nostalgia being a significant reason behind the potential resurgence for the compact disc. However, that isn't enough to make CDs relevant again. Nostalgia will only take physical media so far. Like most 80s and 90s kids that remember and love the format are quickly evolving into the world of streaming. The issue with CDs is that they are still being created to grant access to music, placing themselves in direct competition with streaming. The CD will unfortunately lose this battle. There is one solution that may work. CDs must be specifically designed and marketed to serve a new and separate purpose. Rather than just being a conduit between the device and the listener, CDs need to symbolize an investment into an artist. The real question is, how much of a fan are you? Do you love music and the artists that create the music enough to double down? Buying an album can fulfill that desire to support your favorite artist. It can also, you know, meet your need to publicly show off your love for that artist by posting your newest addition to your physical media collection on Instagram. Don't get me wrong, the now spinning hashtags, vinyl models, and the over-the-top try-hard vinyl Instagrams can get especially cringy because I almost feel like some of these people out there are showcasing their vinyl because it's cool to listen to vinyl right now. These practices make physical media a meaningless trend instead of a connection between you and the music. I'm sure most of those people don't even listen to the vinyl they buy. However, the reality of buying something you can touch, whether it be an album or a band merch, is much more powerful than streaming or downloading a song. It's how true fans distinguish themselves from casual listeners. While CDs are quite tangible, the way they are put together 
and offered doesn't deliver a unique value in the same way that a piece of merchandise or the experience of attending a concert would provide you with. Unfortunately, buying uh, you know, a physical album or streaming a digital album is perceived as the same thing. Uh, what will set apart the CD from streaming? That's the question that we need a solution to. With the incredible digital to analog converters on the hi-fi market, the quality is relatively indistinguishable unless you are playing from a high-end system and are carefully listening for nuances between the two platforms. The SACD was, it was intriguing, but it wasn't widely adopted. So what will it take to convince the average consumer that it's worth investing into a high quality CD player and start purchasing CDs again? Or at the same time, maybe luring the diehard audiophile away from vinyl for a few moments to enjoy what the CD could become. Well, the content, the content, of course, this plays into my video I did a while ago called Why Music Sucks Now. This initiative will have to force artists to produce the absolute best content they possibly can to set themselves apart and garner the attention of the new age consumer. The new people listening to music. However, I'm going to recant a lot of what I said in that video. Since I moved here to Colorado Springs, I have come to realize that music is not dead. It's actually been hiding in plain sight. I am a modern rock fanatic. I recently discovered a radio station here in town called 94.3 Kilo, and it constantly plays amazing new music. I actually find myself shazamming way more now than I ever have. If you haven't shazammed, try it. A lot of you use Bluetooth through your phone and stream and have forgotten about the radio. Radio is another subject I would like to touch on in the future, but honestly, Kilo helped me realize there is new music not only worth listening to, but I added it to my personal playlists. It was awesome. If more artists like the ones I have been discovering on the radio could maintain this quality of sound, it could very well breed some new legends within the genre of music that you might personally enjoy. Something, you know, we as consumers are in desperate need of artists with actual marquee value. However, no matter how amazing the music is, the artist needs to ensure that their minty fresh new CD can tell a story or convey a message and provide a memorable fan experience. Like the people that have been collecting Funko Pops and sports cards in the past, this needs to be the new, the new collectible that fans will feel they have to own rather than just pass over. This can't be done with those dusty ass rows of CDs sitting in record stores right now, collecting dust and muck. You know what I'm talking about. They all practically look the same. And now they're starting to put them in sleeves, little paper sleeves, to where you can't even read the spine. Those sleeves will end up in the crack between your car's seat and center console where all the wild things go. That's if you even have a CD player in your car anymore. But if you open most CDs that were mass produced in the 90s and 2000s, you'll find a few things. I'll show you right now. <clears throat> you will find a flimsy plastic case, a CD, and a booklet that will have some decent cover art, but inside it just feels like you're watching the credits after the movie. Don't get me wrong, I respect those who put together the production, but the consumer wants something special. They don't want credits, they don't want to read credits. The whole experience has become rather underwhelming and lacks any type of real value. This is an opportunity to put something special in the booklet. Tell your story, share your message, give some exclusive behind the scenes photos, tour shots, something that fans can't get via streaming. I'll be honest, the cover art looks really nice on my Cambridge Evo 150 or up on the TV screen, so you can't really say the cover art is the reason to buy CDs. But why not do like variants like Funko does? Have a chase version or of a limited edition CD that is difficult to find with different versions featuring alternate art or maybe one of those trading cards containing a piece of, you know, cloth or something from a show or a guitar pick or an autograph. There are many different ways and creative ways to give back to the fans. And that's what you need to do is give back to the fans. Even go as far as including a chance to attend exclusive experiences like signings, concerts. You know how hard it is to get a signing from a from an art like an artist? 
It's, it's, if it's one thing I know from being a lifetime hobbyist and collector, I don't want the diglets of whatever I am into. I, want, I always desire the rarest and most unique version of that particular property if I'm really into something. It makes me feel special. I can't explain it. It's a sense of exclusivity and prestige in owning something challenging to obtain. I have noticed artists are releasing the deluxe versions of specific albums, which contain special goodies inside, as I just mentioned. I firmly believe the deluxe versions should be the standard version of their album on CD. Spend a little bit of money. Give back to the fans. K-pop group BTS has super deluxe packaging, making the CD actually the afterthought behind a thick photo book of concept pictures, collectible photo cards, thank you letters, and other types of exclusive content. These added components give value to the compact disc and let fans know that you're not purchasing the physical album and experiencing that first unboxing, you're missing out on a large part of being a fan. It creates a frenzy, a feeding frenzy for those fans of that particular band. It will be many moons before CDs start to see a notable bullish trend, but now is as good a time as any to start thinking outside the box about its true potential. At the end of the day, whether CD albums make a comeback will largely depend on whether the music industry chooses to accept it as a relevant medium to deliver a musical experience to the fans. An entire ecosystem of experiences can be created for fans and physical media has the true potential to be a staple in the industry once more. I want to thank you all for joining me and you know sharing your time with me here on this uh, channel. I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and ring the bell to get notified every time I put out new content, which will be more frequent now. I know I took a month off to, uh, you know, recover from the, the disaster. But uh, like I said, guys, thank you for those who donated. Thank you for all of your support, all of your kind words. Um, it really showed me that my community that I've built thus far here on YouTube really cares. And I really appreciate that. So thank you again. And I will be putting out uh, the Wharf Deal Linton's uh, review very, very soon. That's my first product review I'm putting out since the, the disaster area. I was able to save those. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. You're, you're guys, you guys are the reason I still do this and I still want to do this. And this whole month, I've just been so stressed out because I've been wanting to put out content and I felt that I wanted to be ready. And I wanted to be in a good mindset to actually provide you guys with some awesome stuff. So uh, let me know what you think in the just comments below about the CDs and all this other stuff I just told you about. Give me some solutions. You know, uh, I want to hear your guys' opinion and solutions about everything. So, all right, guys, stay tuned for next time. Thanks again for watching and have a great weekend. Take care.